Hi, this is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot. And uh, I know I haven't put a video up for a couple weeks, but I've been really busy a bit with the holidays. I don't know about you. Um, since I'm in the U.S. and we just had Thanksgiving last week and go back to work and it's a busy week and all that fun stuff. Um, and I have also built a website so I will leave the link to my website that has all the descriptions of all the personal readings I can do. Um, I have a few of them listed in the description box with the prices, um, but there are a lot more and they are on the website. So um, please click on the link if you would like a private reading. All right. Well, um Hopefully, you have made your choice of which pile you would like today. Um, oh, I want to say welcome to my channel if you're new, and thank you for returning. If you're uh, if you're already a subscriber, please like, subscribe. Um, very, very much appreciate it, and please comment. Uh, I do read all the comments. And I appreciate every single one of them. All right. So let's get started. All right. Let's move some of these other ones out of the way here. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. All right, and if you chose the first pile here, the first card is Flow of Prosperity, Lakshmi. Um, now, Lakshmi is a, a Hindu goddess of prosperity. And she is here to let you know that your prayers about finances have been heard and answered. And focus on abundance. Don't worry. Don't ever think to yourself, I don't have. Think, I have. I have. And you will receive blessings. That is an awesome, awesome card to start with. All right. And... Uh, the first tarot card we have here is the Mother of Fire, Regeneration. And she's the Kundalini Goddess of Fire. And she is here to help you regenerate your vitality and revive your will and remind you to remember your power. You are a powerful being. And next we have the Crone of Earth, the Ascension card. Look at all those colors. She represents the Ascension of body. Um, her cells are transmuting to light. Look at all that light. Her third eye's open. And... Uh, she's a warrior goddess, and she helps you get rid of or let go of your old self and a shift in yourself or in your mind and allow healing. She's very, very beautiful. Okay. Then we have Pele, Major Arcana, number... 16, the Purifier. She is a Hawaiian fire volcano goddess. And when she shows up, expect the unexpected in your life. Um, she purifies through fire and destroys what no longer serves you. And uh, in the physical world, and 
she regenerates you, but sometimes through rude awakenings. Um, there's gonna, that's, she's, she's a sign of a very major change coming, but from the looks of it, so far, it looks like it's a positive change. All right. And the last one here is the child of wind. And she's flying on a dragonfly. Uh, she has no judgment, no agenda. She's got an open mind to all possibilities. Have the mind of a child on the wind. Um, they're not restricted. And, and they're just ready to go with the flow. Um, the child card is a reminder to, you know, have a childlike mind and, and be free and relax. So you've, you got the flow of prosperity card. You've got some prosperity coming to you. Um, but it looks like you need maybe some inner, uh, regeneration and, uh, look for the light, <laughs> um, ascension into the light and purification through fire, through a major, major change. But go with the flow. Go with the flow. All right. And then the Archangel card for tonight is Clairsentience. Angel <laughs> Raquel says, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings. As they signify divine guidance. Keep that in mind with your flow of prosperity there. And then for St. Michael tonight we have this. This is your life's purpose. My prayer. Archangel Michael. You know the details of my divine life's purpose, and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide me, my actions, so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful, meaningful career. Wow. You're going to get a flow of prosperity, and Archangel Michael is here to show you maybe the, uh, the purifier card here has to do with uh, a new job, a new business, or a whole new career. But you got some good stuff coming your way. All righty. Now, if you chose the second pile here, the first card for this one is Follow Your Heart with St. Francis. St. Francis' message is the answer to your question is in your heart. Walk in faith and be true to yourself and trust your intuition. Now, if you've watched me before, you know that I'm big on following your intuition because I can tell you what, from my life experience, when I don't follow my intuition, then I regret it. So, if you have a decision to make, trust your intuition. 
whether it's about a circumstance, whether it's about a person, no matter what the situation is, trust your intuition, follow your heart. All right, and the first tarot card is the Ten of Wind. And a ten's always a good card because it's the end of something. Um, but this card is also saying to um, pay attention and expand your horizons and don't limit yourself mentally. That that person has a an umbrella over their head and there's a little bitty cloud and there's a great big sunshine in the back. They're focusing on the negative. You need to focus on the positive. There's a whole lot of positive and one little bitty storm that's going to pass real quick. So, uh, expand your horizons. Definitely, definitely. All right. And then we've got the four of earth boundaries. Now, those four horned goats create a mandala, um, which is a powerful shield of unity and strength and the message is to be true to yourself focus on your own power know your own power but set boundaries with people because you can't let everybody into your circle or let everybody know what's going on in your life um it it's never a good idea to be too open, you know, set your boundaries with people. But you're also being protected when you set those boundaries. And then we have the Six of Seas. I love this card. She's so free. She's just basking in the sun. Beautiful mermaid. She um, embodies pleasure. And, I mean, look, she's immersed in, in a flow of receiving, but you give to receive. So it's giving and receiving. And she's in a light of love from the sun, and it's warm. And open your eyes to the beauty of life. Um, emotional abundance, heart energy. Look, she, her heart chakra's open there. And just soak it all in. Pleasure. Look at the bright side. Boy, we got... Follow... You, all these cards. Follow your heart. What the heck do you have going on that you just need to... Have the reassurance. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Then we have the child of earth. Another child card. And that's the design card. And the look, the the child is holding an acorn in his hand there. And an acorn is a seed that, that grows a tree, right? So any small idea can become big. Um... And it's also a reminder that the perfect design is within you. And see the opportunities in your life through the eyes of a child. If you have a new opportunity come your way, you know, follow your heart about it. If you don't, um, if you don't feel right, then don't do it. Another <coughs> opportunity will come your way. But keep your eye on the prize. Follow your heart. Look at... You know, all, all the, everything around you. Don't, don't focus on one, one thing. Um, and you are protected. Set your boundaries with, with people. But enjoy life. Enjoy life and, and look at, look at the ideas from a child's eyes. 
All right, and then, ooh, looky here. The Archangel Shamul says, career transition. Your life's purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Wow. Mm, do you have a big decision to make about whether or not to take a new job, whether or not to look for a new job? I'm saying go for it. Go for it and follow your heart about it. If something feels right, go do it. If your intuition is going, yeah, this is a shady deal, then look for something else. You know what's right for you. All right, and then Archangel Michael says, let go of fear now. Wow. My prayer, Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Let go of your fear for going for something new and following your heart. Wow. All righty. And then we have number three. And if you chose number three. The first card is the Twin Flame. I don't want to mess up his name. Anagus. In Incus? Okay. He is a Celtic god who brings people together. Um, especially with new relationships. Or he helps heal old relationships. Um... Or current relationships, bringing more harmony to the current relationships. And gives divine guidance in romantic relationships. Wow. There you go. And the first tarot card we have is... The Two of Fire, Centering. She has a radiant wisdom of life in her hands. Look at that. She's got her hands around the light. And um, honor your power of that light. You are very, very powerful. No matter what you've got going on in your life, this is a reminder to just stay centered um, and to be ex be an example of the light. You know, just give somebody a smile because even if you're having a bad day, if you smile, it makes you feel better and smiling at somebody else always makes them feel good or feel better. So, um, honor your power of the light and keep yourself centered. All right. And then the next one is the five of earth manipulation. This card is telling you to regain your own power. Are you being manipulated by somebody? Um, don't don't allow yourself to be there anymore. Reclaim your own power. Remember your own self worth. Look that that girl is literally like a puppet being held up by strings of that hand. Don't be anybody's puppet. Be yourself. And if you're in a bad situation, know that there is help and that you have the ability to get out. There's always, always somebody to turn to. Sometimes it's easier to turn to strangers than to people you know. You can always... I, I, 
I feel very strongly about that because I have been through many situations in my life and watched a lot of situations um, where I, and, and I felt, I felt like she does all down in the dumps and feel like I have no control over my own life. Um, take your control back. And the next one is the Eight of Earth, which is Nurturance. And she's reminding you, she sees she's watering the flowers, nurture the earth. Um, and also nurture your heart. And nurture your body. Are you not getting the right nutrients? Are you not eating properly because... Because you're not feeling good about yourself. Um, when the when it's the earth card, it has usually to do with something physical. Um, I mean, are you nurturing your... And it can also... It can also mean, like, your money. Um, keep an eye on your money and and save your money and nurture but nurture yourself um and you know get back to nature I, or listen to nature go take a walk barefooted or something i know it's cold right now it's very cold in kansas well it's not as bad today but it's uh, it's the 1st of December, and we already had temperatures of lows in the teens in November, which is very rare here, but it happened. All right. And then we have the Two of Wind, which is the balance card. And it's a representation of a peace of mind, a mental agreement. Um... I mean, that's a balance of day and night and of water and land, the sun and the moon. Um, do you need to find a middle ground with somebody? What? Maybe you need to find a middle ground with somebody. But... Twin flame. Is the one you're looking for not there yet? Or do you just need some healing? Maybe maybe you need some healing or but keep yourself centered and don't let yourself get manipulated by anybody pulling your strings. Nurture yourself and find balance within yourself and within your relationships. And then for the Archangel card, we have Gifts from God. Oh, wow. Look at that cup she's holding there. Archangel Sandalfin says, we, are, we angels bring you gifts from your Creator. Open your arms to receive. This is about receiving love, I think. Could be about money. But open your arms to receive blessings. If you're closed up, you can't receive. All right. And then Archangel Michael says, you are guarded and protected. My prayer Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Wow. Keep yourself centered. Focus on love. Focus on love. 
whether it's romantic love, whether it's this is the time of year for a lot of family to be coming around in a lot of situations. Um, but, but focus on love. Most definitely. Twin flame usually means romance, romance though. <clears throat> Maybe you have a new romance coming into your life. Alrighty. And for the number four. The first card is, listen. Man, Manjushuri, I think is how you say that name. Um, but Manjushuri is a Buddhist deity of wisdom who's holding a sword to cut through illusions and bring clarity. Look at that sword. I don't know if you can see it here. It's right there. And that's, that's cutting through illusions and bringing clarity. Um, and this is another one. Listen to your heart and your intuition. I have learned that lesson the hard way so many times. All right. First card is... Yamaya, the oracle card, uh, the number nine in the Major Arcana. She is a Brazilian or Caribbean goddess of introspection and prophecy. She is a ruler of the seas and lakes and mother of all. She is ultimate female power and soother of heart trouble. She's got her hands folded there over her heart. And her message is to go within and find yourself. Take time away from this crazy, busy world right now, especially if you're in the U.S. and it's the holiday season. Um, nurture your spiritual self. And listen to your intuition. She's telling you the exact same thing. Those cards are almost identical, just from two different deities. All right, and then we have the Four of Fire, the Completion. And it's a four-pointed mandala in this one, which is a full cycle of completion. And this, the message here is... Um, it's time to acknowledge and release what no longer serves you and let it ascend into spirit. Address unfinished business and complete it. And be open to new beginnings. When when something when one thing's completed, it opens a door for something new to come in. So if you have something that's not completed, get it completed. Quit procrastinating. All right. And then we have ha, the Ace of Wind. I love aces. It's the realization card. And she is uh, the Astara goddess of starlit skies. Look at all those stars and leaves. And she's gorgeous. And she's got her throat chakra open there and her third eye. And her, she can bring you a mental breakthrough into conscious understanding. Wow. Um, and her halo represents heavenly wisdom and understanding. Be open to mental clarity. Let go of stagnant attitudes, beliefs, and act upon a new understanding. There you go. Look within and you will get that new understanding. Maybe you need to go lock yourself in the bathroom and take a bath or meditate or but listen. And then 
this is the seven of wind, which is the pessimism card. And this is a warning to get out of that box that you picture yourself in. She's picturing herself in a box, but it's a self-made prison. You don't have to be in that box. This is a reminder of how your perception of your world and your attitude determines the quality of your life. Give thanks for what you do, what you have. Get a new perspective on your life. Don't look at all the negative stuff. Look at the glass half full. So, yeah, this is a uh, listen to your intuition message. And you have guidance. But both, I mean, the first two cards were almost the identical message from different deities. Bring something, something in your life needs to come to a completion. And then realize, realize your power. And get that mental clarity and get yourself out of that box. Get yourself out of that box. You're holding yourself back. All right, and then the Archangel card for this one is You Are Safe from St. Michael. He's always got a sword to protect everybody. He's our protector angel. He says, I am protecting you against lower energies, guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. You're protected. Know that you're protected. And then for the St. Michael card, it says, make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to le lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. You have a decision to make, it looks like. But you need to listen. Listen, listen. All right. Well, that wraps it up for today. Um, I hope that um, whatever um, you chose w resonates with you. And uh, like I said, I, I have a new website. I will put the link at uh, in the description box. And please like and subscribe and leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, but please, please check out my new website. Uh, thank you, and I will see you in the next video.